Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build a flush with the floor redstone torch key which is this contraption that you see right here. Now we can walk up to this, we can place down our redstone torch, it is going to retract and extend that which will give us our torch back and it will also create a redstone signal that we can use with something else. Now I've already done one of these before however this one was a flush with the wall design. This is the previous one which I've already done a tutorial on and it does pretty much the exact same thing. Now your main use for this is probably going to be for a secret entrance so I decided to build one over here. We can walk up to this, place down our redstone torch and we can go inside, collect our diamonds and then just close it back up on the way out. So a quick explanation of how this works, this piston over here does not realise it isn't being powered by anything so when we place a redstone torch on top we're going to provide that with an update so the block is going to be retracted which allows this comparator to read the contents of this furnace and create a signal. That signal is then going to power the piston down here which will move the detector rail over to this block and then the dust here will change into a dot and so when it's a dot it's going to power the block here which causes this piston to extend again that cuts off the signal to the piston so it's going to retract and it's going to change back to how it is now at which point this block will no longer be powering this piston but it doesn't update it so it stays exactly where it is now we also have this extra piston and torch here which is actually useless you'll see this works without it but depending on where in the world you build it due to one of those minecraft quirks you may actually need to add an extra piston right here to provide an extra update to this one that makes it work now over here we have two outputs these can either be off and on and then it will change when you place down your torch. So to build this you are probably going to want to build it flush with the ground which means that you've got to dig down by five blocks in a two deep and four wide area like this. The red block represents where your torch key is going to be. Now this is what it looks like when it's got a torch key inside of it. In fact let me show you this in action. You can see that works just fine. But for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to build it above ground so it's nice and easy to see what we're doing. So to build this you're going to need the contents of this chest. That is a furnace and an item to go in the furnace as well. Two sticky pistons, a piston, seven building blocks, a detector rail, two redstone, a block of redstone, a comparator and a redstone torch. So we're going to start this off by placing down a block of redstone with a redstone dust on top of it, then two blocks in front with a detector rail there, then put a block on the side of this redstone and above that put a sticky piston and another block on top of it. Then you can put a furnace to the side and on the other side a block and a comparator. Then we want to put an item in that furnace and then you'll see the comparator here turns on. So we can place some blocks like this a redstone dust here underneath put a sticky piston and then above it put a redstone torch and in front of that a piston and then it's finished now you can place your redstone torch on top it's going to pop out and reset so that's how you build the flush with the floor torch key there is a world download available in the description box for this world right here and if you're interested in this design there is a link in the description box and on the screen to the tutorial for that video but that is it from me this video so as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time